We are moving to an all electric vehicle society. So why am I about to tell you to invest in something that is reliant on oil and gas? It all started when one of my viewers reached out to me on Reddit and notified me that they had found something big. When I clicked on the link, I was surprised and honestly a little bit confused when it took me to Fuel Gems. Fuel Gems is a company that has developed a fuel additive, something that you add to gasoline in order to optimize performance. Now, if you follow any news, you should know that electric vehicles are in and gasoline is out. So I was really confused. Unicorns are typically built by disrupting old markets. This company is focused on making that old market better. It was initially a tough sell for me, but after hours and hours of research, I had completely changed my mind. Led by Kirill Gaishans, a group of PhD scientists came together to improve fuel efficiency. They successfully engineered a fuel additive that reduces fuel consumption by 9%. The Fuel Gems additive reduces emissions, reduces friction of engine parts, and is wildly more powerful than any other additive out there. The secret sauce to Fuel Gems is nanotechnology. The Fuel Gems additive is 800 times more powerful than the same amount of anything out in the market today. You need just five grams of Fuel Gems to treat 265 gallons of oil. This is significant from a business perspective as Fuel Gems is much more enticing to oil providers at that size. This also positively impacts business operations and profit margins. Fuel Gems requires less raw materials and a smaller production facility, so it saves big time on costs. The company also has two patents, one filed and one pending, so we have some comfort knowing that the proprietary technology is protected. Okay, that's great. But does any of this matter if we're shifting to electric vehicles in the future? The reality is that for all the talk about electric vehicles, it's going to take some time. Only 3% of vehicle sales in the US today are electric. This chart by Bloomberg is an estimate of the percentage of vehicles by 2050 that will be powered by gasoline. As you can see, Fuel Gem's opportunity is getting larger, not smaller. And to show that I'm not just cherry picking stats, this is the same chart, but done by Goldman Sachs estimates. Electric vehicles are certainly coming and are certainly the future, but it's going to take time. In addition, there are trucks, planes, ships, trains, and heavy machinery that are difficult to power by electricity and will need to be gasoline powered. What I'm trying to say here is 20 years down the road, the gasoline and fuel industry is still going to be massive. There is plenty of time for Fuel Gems to meaningfully scale and either get acquired or IPO. Fuel Gems is aiming to sell its fuel additive to oil refineries, gas station chains, and even directly to consumers. I actually think they should completely abandon the consumer route. I think this needs to be a product that is automatically mixed into the gasoline. It's hard to imagine mass adoption of consumers just sticking syringes in their car after pumping a tank full of gas. Not to mention there's risk of human error by inputting too much of the product into your car or not knowing whether or not the gasoline you put in your car already has the fuel gems additive because they sell directly to the gas station chains and the oil refineries. Long story short, I think the company should avoid that avenue. I think it's going to be a drain on their capital, on their marketing, on their time and other resources. Thankfully, the company has indicated that they are focusing on oil refineries and gas station chains. Fuel gems will be relatively inexpensive to add as they are aiming to charge only two cents per gallon of treated fuel. A chain of 500 gas stations would bring in about $12 million in revenue each year. Oil refineries would be an even larger customer at around 27 million a year. And the market potential is pretty large. The US alone consumes 337 million gallons of gasoline each and every day. Two cents a gallon, that comes out to $2.5 billion in revenue potential each year in the US alone. Okay, so let's take a look at where Fuel Gems currently is. After developing the formula, they opened up their first production facility in April of 2021. They are currently testing initial batches to standardize the manufacturing process and stabilize the performance. Fuel Gems will then ship off samples to its client pipeline for them to test it out on their own. This pipeline already has $70 million in potential revenue. These sales will only convert if the product actually works. So if you want to dive in deeper, I'm going to link in the comments the research study they did that tested Fuel Gems additive over 7,500 miles. What also comforts me is that Fuel Gems received an investment from a venture capital fund. And venture capital funds will do way more due diligence on a company than any other individual investor would. It really seems like if the product performs, this company is going to be very successful. The founder has also previously overseen two company exits and an IPO at $130 million valuation. Fuel Gems is currently listed at a $20 million valuation. I expect this company to be acquired sometime within the next four years, most likely by one of the fuel additive competitors or by an ExxonMobil type of company.
In my next video, I will be detailing the most common mistakes that people make when vetting startups to invest in. Make sure you subscribe so you can catch that when it comes out.